another question that was asked in the gate economics paper of 2021 was about the pure strategy nash equilibrium the question is uh, consider an intersection of the roads with any uh, without any traffic lights two cars car a and b approach an intersection and they want to proceed as indicated by the respective a arrows in the following diagram i have not shown here the diagram uh, if both proceed without stopping then there is an accident okay up, up to this i will uh, first draw the payoff matrix to make the things clear okay we have the two cars let us say we have car a and car b car a has two two choices either to proceed or to stop similarly car b has two choices either to proceed or to stop okay now we will go to the question uh, the question says if both proceed without stopping there is an accident then a would have a payoff of minus 10 and b would have the payoff of minus 500 that means if both uh, proceed then a would have payoff of minus 10 so this min sorry minus 100 is the payoff of a and minus 500 is the payoff of uh, car b when both choose to proceed p and p i have denoted proceed by p okay next the question says if one stops and other proceeds the payoff is minus 5 and 10 that means if one stops let us say if a stops its payoff would be minus 5 and uh, car b proceeds its payoff is 10 similarly in this uh, uh, in this uh, uh, cell if car b stops its payoff would be minus 5 and if car a tries to proceed its uh, payoff is 10 okay i hope i am making myself clear up to this point now if both of them stop then it takes little longer to reach their respective destinations they have a payoff of minus 5 each that means if both try to stop then their respective payoff is minus 5 and minus 5 okay the question uh, tells us find the pure strategy nosh equilibrium of the players so by nosh equilibrium as we know nosh equilibrium refers to a condition in which every party has optimized uh, its outcome based on the other players expected uh, um, what we say expected decision okay now we will try to see the nash equilibrium so i will just change the color here uh, okay now uh, we will see uh, this very column first this column first this column says if b chooses to proceed uh, if car b chooses to proceed car a has two options either to proceed or stop okay so if it tries to proceed it has the expected payoff of minus 100 and if it tries to stop it is uh, expected payoff is minus 5 here we can see that minus 5 is greater than minus 100 so uh, car a would choose to stop okay if uh, car b has chosen to proceed because minus 5 is greater than minus 100 so it will choose this very minus 5 okay so this is for the column first uh, let me delete so this is for column and this is for uh, player a now we go to this column and see what are the strategies for player car a given the strategy of car b is to sit up now if car b tries to stop uh, car a has two options either to proceed or sit up now if it tries to proceed its payoff is 10 if it tries to stop its payoff is minus 5 uh, between these two numbers we can see that 10 is greater than minus 5 so the car a would uh, choose to sit up sorry car a would choose to proceed because it will get uh, a more expect more payoff uh, in proceeding rather than in stopping 
so for player a this minus 10 would be better than minus 5 okay now i will just uh, try to erase some thing here because of the lake of the space so this is for player a when player b has chosen stop now we will see horizontally what are the uh, optimal choices for player b okay now here player a has uh, stopped a player a tries to proceed sorry a player a tries to proceed player b has two options either to proceed or to stop if it tries to proceed it is outcome expected payoff is minus 500 if it tries to stop then its payoff is minus 5 uh, between these two numbers we see that minus 5 here it has more payoff uh, than uh, in this row uh, in this cell so it would choose this minus 5 because minus 5 is greater than minus 500 so it will choose this minus 5 okay so let me just uh, erase so player uh, sorry car b would choose to stop if a chooses to proceed now we will go to this very horizontal uh, section now here we can see if player a tries to stop player b has two choices either to proceed or stop and uh, the expected payoff is uh, 10 and minus 5 here we can see that if it tries to proceed it has more uh, payoff than in stopping because 10 is greater than minus 5 so it would choose this 10 as it is strategy okay I hope I am making myself clear and it gets messy here I am uh, very sorry for that so we can see we have uh, that two Nash equilibrium here or multiple um, Nash equilibrium here Nash equilibrium is obtained where both the uh, both the parties have chosen their optimal decision so here we can see uh, this is the Nash equilibrium and this is also the Nash equilibrium okay now the we have the choices the choices are first option is car a car b here uh, the, what does this mean this means uh, car a has stopped car b has proceeded so car a b stop proceed is one Nash equilibrium so this option is correct similarly this very uh, in the second Nash equilibrium is that car A proceeds and car B stops. So, if there is an, that very option, we can see we have proceed and stop for car A and B. So, I guess uh, these two options are correct because the question was multi select, multi select question. I hope I make myself clear in this video. Um,